So I just felt like I needed to touch on that today because I just find it disgusting that any one person, especially a random stranger, would ever try to come into somebody's inbox and try to tell them how to live their life. It's laughable. It's such a joke. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey, yo, what up, world? What's good with y'all? Back with another one. Hot off the heels of a taco cook bang. Today, we are putting to use the leftover tortillas, jalapeno cheddar. Uh, with that said, we're making them into a high school special, which was a chicken ranch wrap. Now, in my haste, I did forget to add the cheese, so we will be adding it on a per bite basis, okay? I also have some accoutrement, some celery and carrots for some crunch factor. And y'all know that I'm a pepperoncini obsessed human being on this planet. And uh, that's a good segue into what we're gonna talk about in today's video. It's gonna be lightly serious, but it's more of a kickoff point to more of a um, awareness and empowering sort of focal point perspective kind of thing to share with you. And uh, it's just regarding a situation that kind of has happened to me that made me feel just more like it's just something that I feel more passionate about that I'd like to talk about today with you guys while I eat these delectable delights. So before we do anything more, we must pour. <laughs> Jeez. Here we go. Fill her up. Fill her up. With the one, the only. A diet, a doctor. A papa. A doctor, papa, papa. Okay. Raining. Liquid dreams. It's supreme. Okay. Miss Miss Fizzle. Shout out all those who watched Magic School Bus. I know she was Miss Frizzle. She had frizzy hair. Kinda looked like Rose. Rose's hair. From the Titanic. And, you know, every time we pour, we must remember Jack. So R.I.P. He's at the bottom of my glass. But he stood up for what was right. He was a true man, even though he looked like a child and a boy. How long can we keep this Titanic theme going? Perhaps forever. I'm not quite sure. Oh yeah. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, tastes like a high school education. This is gonna taste like a high school calf lunch. Before we get into it, let me just show you this. I got the ranch, and today we've really fancied it up straight from the trailer park with some bacon bits. No hate on the trailer park. We all live different walks of life. Once again, that's going to tie into what I'm about to talk about, okay? So, I do want to get a bite. Let's work from this side and get it going. Now, I love me a good chicken ranch wrap. Lettuce, tomato, ranch, and we got the chicken breasts that are fried in the coating, okay? Decoding fanning. Now, we're going to mix in these bacon bits into this ranch. So it's kind of going to be like a very, very cheap version of a chicken bacon ranch because my ass was much, much too lazy to deal with cooking bacon today, even though it's very easy, but it's a bit of a process. You know, I just didn't really care for it. So because I'm a culinary genius, evidently, uh, that right there is a chicken bacon ranch glue, or sorry, well, not a chicken bacon ranch. That right there is a bacon ranch glue. And because I forgot the cheese, what we do, is we just attach it to the glue. And then me and you have a food porn moment together. I say cheers and thank you for being here. I show my gratitude and appreciation. And then we have a nice big old bite.
Mm -hmm. A stupendous flavor combination, in my humble opinion. I love tacky foods. I love trashy foods. I'm not fancy as I hold my pinkies like this. And by pinkies, I mean my hands, my fingers. I don't know how to talk. All right. Another magnificent bite of this with some cheese. I just want to talk about something here. It's a little something, something. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, per day on my Instagram, I get a lot of like message requests and things like this. Mostly very loving messages. And thank you to everybody who sends them. Let me just say, it's a little difficult for me to get back to them mainly for the reason that I feel like there's a lot, that's first off. And if it gets super individualized, I think people are going to start to feel entitled and ex have expectations of conversations and things like this. It's not that I wouldn't love to do that. It's just that I am one human being and I cannot stretch myself that thin with everything that I already do in my life. I have my own social circle. I have this shit that I work on. Music, business stuff, family, everything. So I just really don't have the time. But the love is appreciated like you guys have no idea. So that's the first thing I want to say. Now, in that territory of people hitting your inbox, you're always going to get a handful of humans who watch your channel, who are going to be in your inbox for ill reasons to try to fuck with you to try to get a rise out of you to whatever whatever what have you now the other day i i received this requ message request and i could see what they wrote wrote before they even know that i read it so of course it's an anom anonymous person being a scared little bee behind anonymity on the internet so cool nice job you're awesome but basically, I'm not going to tell you really what the message said because that's irrelevant. But more or less, it was this person trying to impose their ideologies of how they would live their life onto me. And we're making critical judgments with examples from my channel of things that I should or should not be doing and, uh, you know, relative to, to my lifestyle. Okay, so th that's just that. To set the stage. Now. That basically just sparked. Like a passion point for me. Something that I've. Really realized lately in life. And. Which is something that I want to. Impart and tell to you guys. If you're struggling with something like this in your life is uh well first i want to say if this person is watching i really hope you are first of all you really need to not worry about me and my life 
And you need to probably, from the sounds of it, find a life of your own, okay? Because if you got enough time to be consuming my videos and then coming into my inbox trying to tell me how to live my life where, where I'm a sovereign being of this vessel, wherein I have full license to do whatever the fuck I want till the time I die, uh, it sounds like you need to find something better to do with your time. So that's first off. Second is, and this is what I want to say to you guys, is for n just basically never be this person in life. To try to impose your ideologies or your way of being on somebody else's life is disgusting to me. Just the audacity to believe that you would ever think for a minute that you're entitled dominion over somebody else's choices or, or, or ways of being is ridiculous to me. Different strokes for different folks. We're all different people. And we're all going to live our lives in our own unique, different way. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's completely fine. <clears throat> so, if you ever find yourself being imposing of your ideals on people around you, siblings, parents, partners, cousins, whoever, friends, if you ever find yourself doing this, check yourself because that is not the way to be. Okay, that's first off. The next thing is this. Do not allow it to be done to you by people that are close around you and to you. Do not allow people's ideals that are even close to you talking even to your fucking mom, okay? Do not allow your mom's ideologies and ways that she wants you to live your life determine and dictate what it is that you're going to do. That's bullshit. A true, loving, supporting, supportive person, mother or, or otherwise, <clears throat> will love you and completely trust in you, in your own intuition, in your own journey, and allow you to discover and freely explore the things that you need to do in order to remain sane, really. Which is ultimately another way to say, don't be a people pleaser. Stop trying to please everybody. Stop sacrificing yourself. Stop sacrificing your truth. Stop sacrificing your happiness to keep everybody else balanced, happy, and okay with everything. Fuck that noise. I'm on some hedonistic bullshit here. And this is how I do want to live my life. As long as I'm hurting nobody else... And I can just be true to myself and in myself and, and operate how I want to and it's making me happy. And everybody else with an opinion around me, y'all can sit the fuck down. <laughs> Uh, 
I didn't come to this planet to live a stifled, indoctrinated bullshit, less experienced life. I'm out here trying to collect experiences. I'm trying to seek pleasure. I'm trying to constantly grow. I'm trying to go on adventures. I'm trying to live in complete and total truth to myself, which is like, this is one of these things. What I'm doing here is completely out of the norm in terms of today. You know what I mean? It's becoming more normal, but it's completely outside the norm. And this leads me into a thank you point. I want to thank each and every single one of you from the bottom of my heart who come here and show nothing but love and positivity and encourage me and allow me to be exactly who I am and keep doing this thing that I love to do or these things that I love to do because I have so much more that I want to show you guys in the future as well. It's just circumstantial things as per usual in my life aren't allowing me to do that yet, but I have so much more that I want to show you guys. So <clears throat> I say this with the utmost authenticity and truth. I feel more support from a group C of now what I consider my, you know, internet family, but of, 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 of strangers essentially, right. Are showing me every day, daily more support than I get from even those nearest to me in my life. And that is crazy to me, but it, 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 it makes sense though, in a sense of like a lot of the times in life, the people that are going to hold you back the most are those who are close to you, unfortunately. Because although they want the best for you, they may, might not understand your vision or be on your wavelength. And they're going to be scared for you because they want the best for you. They don't want you to take these routes. A lot of times the people that are closest to you think that they know who you are or they have a preconditioned idea or this image of you that they've made in their head throughout your life because they've seen you grow up. And they have a set story for you in your life in their head a little bit. And they're going to try to impose that upon you at points because of their insecurities, because they are scared. Because they themselves maybe didn't take the risk or live differently. So I just felt like I needed to touch on that today because I just find it disgusting that any one person, especially a random stranger, would ever try to come into somebody's inbox and try to tell them how to live their life. It's laughable. It's such a joke. I'm completely secure in how I'm doing my shit. Like I'm, ha I'm stoked. Like I know my, my mission. I know my path. I know what I'm doing and I'm living in, in the choices that I enjoyed making. So it's like the inbox message is no big deal, but it just triggered a thing inside of me that I want to just spread awareness to in life. The sooner that you stop living for other people's ideas of you and your life and things like that, the sooner you start living for yourself authentically, stay truly, the minute you start doing that, I promise you, 
your happiness meter is going to skyrocket. When you're no longer <clears throat> carrying the burden of care of others' ideas and or expectations of you, is the moment that you're free of some pretty heavy fucking chains. I'm not chained. I'm a sovereign being. And I have free choice and free will. And I will live my life as I see fit. And that's it. So to that person that was in my inbox, if you're watching, that's my answer for you as for what you said in the inbox. And quite frankly, if I get to have my turn to speak now, I feel sad for you. It's very evident that your thinking about the world has been completely indoctrinated by the standard societal outlook. The the white picket fence, the two and a half kids, the fucking half a dog, Jeopardy, TV dinners, and a life of fucking boring, probably half misery. <laughs> so, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Till the next one, stay true, of course, and then eat good and live well. And don't take anybody else's bullshit. Till the next one. <laughs>